I'm Senior. I'm Santa Dimente. And we are from Harriet Watt University in Scotland. And we're studying fashion communication. So. <laughs> Uh, I'm from Latvia and I'm from Germany. <laughs> Such a good combination, huh? Yeah. Okay, so um, I was born in Uzbekistan and just when I was seven years old, we, uh, my family decided to move to Germany. But until, like, I went, like I, until seven years old, I kind of experienced the uh, Uzbek culture mm. with all the clothes and traditional clothes and everything in the language. So when I went to Germany, it was a completely different world. It was like um, more, what to say? It? Um, more European, maybe. <laughs> more European, yeah. yeah. Obviously. Such a different world, yeah. And then when I found out for an ID that I can go to India, I was like, okay, it's, it's kind of connection combining like Uzbekistan and India with the traditional clothes, with the language, with the people, with like this vibrance, and um, there's just more. Mm -hmm going on it's like Brazil you know this um, very thing, bright uh, yeah Good culture, enjoyment yeah. and oh, people are laughing it's not that depressing <laughs> what can happen sometimes with bad weather Europe can be a little bit too um, gray for the soul exactly sometimes. exactly so it's nice to be in a sunshine place here um, I'm coming from Latvia it's a very young country that's why a lot of people don't know about it mm -hmm. So it went independent just when I was born, mm -hmm. basically 23, 24 years ago. Mm -hmm. But it's more complicated because I have 50% of Latvian bloods and I have 50% of Russian bloods. And my Russian side is coming from south of Russia, which is a very turbulent culture, let's say so. And people are very emotional and just yeah. crazy and you know. So I felt in Scotland, missed, in huh? Scotland <laughs> I really felt a little bit... Like it's a little bit too cold for me in mm -hmm. both meanings, the weather and mentality. So I decided to try to go to one of the countries which is known for being very open, people very friendly and the culture just being very colorful and mm -hmm. you know. Obviously it's hard to compare because obviously it's pluses and minuses in both. Yeah. But one thing I personally really like about you know this educational structure here in NAD and I don't know about the rest of India but I guess it's probably the same mm -hmm. is that um, you have just one course mm -hmm. at the moment mm -hmm. and you don't have anything else you just focus on this course mm -hmm. so you can do it perfectly obviously with Indian food it's it's very hard to speak about it because it's so many flavors you go crazy while wow, wow, you're eating Latvian food it's very tasty, but it's so bland. Like after having Indian food, I feel like putting, you know, Most pepper and spice inside, yeah. Yeah, in everything. <laughs> because it's very, very bland to me now, you know. It's yeah. just, but I miss smoked foods, you know. All the smoked uh, sausages and stuff. This is something India is really missing out. They should, you know, <laughs> think about it. <laughs> it's a very good thing. If you look at the whole thing from the beginning till the end, what mm -hmm. was the moment that you were like struggling with? Yeah, it was for me at the beginning difficult. I was like, okay, six weeks should be manageable. Then I started to work and I'm like, okay, you have gender and you have commercial advertising. And that's all you have in 60 seconds. <laughs> and you can do whatever you like with this. Finding the idea to try to tell a story on the paper or even having in your mind. Because yeah. even you have the idea, you have a story, it just flips through your mind and that's yeah. it. But then yeah. you have to do the storyboard. From the you beginning to, to the end, yeah. You have you need to have the frames in front of you and it's like, this is happening now, and then this and this. And I'm like, okay, can't really jump on it around. Uh -huh. So that took a lot of time to work it out in my mind how it's actually working. Because in my eyes, I see everything 30, 60 degrees, mm -hmm. 360 degrees, and um, mm -hmm. yeah. For me, the hardest was to actually remember every single thing. Because when we did moving image in um, Harriet Watt mm -hmm. for a course mm -hmm. um, you see for fashion world when you do video most of the times you will get just a music and a model like moving to the music it could be very surrealistic and conceptual but mm -hmm. usually there is no story so most of this is very often just um, improvised on the in the studio yeah exactly yeah. so it's not like every frame is basically planned and here we had to plan every single thing. The expression in terms of gender, mm -hmm. 
um, also how our sexuality is linked or not linked to our expression. Mm -hmm. so like for example, the way you are dressed, I can look at you and judge you and tell, oh, she's probably straight or she's probably not straight, she's a good girl, not a good girl, you know, and then people start judging you, mm -hmm. which is a normal reaction. Mm -hmm. And I had a male dressed in a feminine way and a female dressed in a masculine way and how they meet each other and what's happening between them, like how they meet each other and how they recognize parts of each other in themselves and they start fighting because they're, you know, pushing away from, you know, this, you know. wanted to do about girl trafficking, try to find the best way to, to bring represent. attention to the problem. Yeah. yeah. In the beginning, when I watched through YouTube videos mm -hmm. and uh, read some texts, I wanted to include a bit of violence because I also saw um, PSA advertisements in YouTube um, mm -hmm. which show violence and blood yeah, and they're pretty scary. dark, yeah, so yeah. they can scare you within 10 seconds. Yeah. And I thought about the same thing, but then when I talked to Arun, he was like, no, you have, you have to like it should Find happen a way everything. to show terrible things yeah. in a very not, nice way. Yeah. yeah, not like even that should make click in your mind and not being visible. And so I decided to represent a girl in a happy way where she's laughing, where she's enjoying her time, she's spending with her family. And then there can actually come the moment when the girl is not there anymore. <laughs> Like about every country, people have weird cliches. Yeah. And of course, about India, people have good and bad cliches. Both people believe that there is elephants everywhere, but people also believe that it's dangerous, which I completely yeah. can't see anywhere. Like, and they see only I see dangerous places things. Actually, yeah, in I Europe. see this place. Yeah. I feel so happy and laid back here. I feel safe and I feel at home. Point of Ram, Jake, Ate, He, and Edi. Auf Wiedersehen, and Edi. Friedenschnurz, and Edi. This is Daniel Daniel energy. Energy. <laughs> oh my god, that's so awkward. Let's just do something, I'm not doing well. So.